Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today, I will show you some methods to fix PS5 error code CE1021756. So, first make sure that your DualSense wireless controller has sufficient battery life. A low battery might prevent the update from completing successfully. Now, if you're updating wirelessly, try using a USB cable to connect the controller directly to the console. And ensure the USB cable is securely connected to both the controller and the PS5. If possible, try a different USB cable to rule out a faulty cable. Now, if you have done the basic checks above and the problem still persists, go to the first method. Method 1. Restart the PS5 and controller. Perform a full restart of both the PS5 console and the DualSense controller. Turn off the PS5, unplug it from the power source, wait for a few minutes, and then restart both the console and the controller. Method 2. Update in safe mode. Turn off your PS5 console by pressing and holding the power button until you hear a second beep. The power indicator will blink for a few moments before turning off. Once the console is off, press and hold the power button again. Release it after you hear the second beep, one beep will sound when you first press, and another 7 seconds later. Now, connect your controller to the console with a USB cable. Now press the PS button on the controller. Select option 4. Update system software. This will check for available updates, including controller firmware updates. Method 3. Update PS5 controller firmware using PC. If it's your first time updating the firmware on the PC, you need to install the app on your Windows PC. Download Firmware Updater for DualSense Wireless Controller and save it to your desktop or other location. Run the installation file, and then follow the on-screen instructions to install the app. During the installation, you might see a request to download additional software that's needed to use Firmware Updater for DualSense Wireless Controller. To download this software, follow the on-screen instructions. Use a USB cable to connect your controller to your Windows PC, and then follow the on-screen instructions to start the update. Don't turn off your Windows PC or disconnect the USB cable during the update. When the update is complete, a message appears. Select OK. To finish the process. Method 4. Reset controller. First, we need to turn off the PlayStation 5 console. 
After that, disconnect the DualSense wireless controller from the official USB cable. Now, find the reset button inside the small hole next to the Sony logo on the back of your controller. Now, use a pin or a similar tool, not included, to press and hold the reset button for at least 5 seconds. Your controller will reset. Now, connect your controller to the PS5 console using the official USB cable that came with your controller, and press the PS button. The console should automatically detect and try to update the controller. If none of these methods resolve the issue, contact PlayStation support for further assistance. They may suggest additional troubleshooting steps or arrange for a controller repair or replacement if necessary. That's it guys, hope this is helpful. If you have any further questions, please feel free to get in touch or leave a comment. Thanks.